This is Paint Life TV and I'm Chris the Idaho Painter and today I'm going to talk about what to paint first. If you've got any questions or comments, leave them in the questions or comments below. We love to hear what you have to say because this is all about educating and empowering and equipping you and you've got something to share, share it below. This is the Paint Life community. But I'm going to be talking about today what to paint first. This is a subject, an ongoing subject that I can't just talk about in one video. We've had probably three or four videos before with different scenarios. Today I'm going to be talking about what if I'm walking into a house and I'm going to be say painting a room. It doesn't matter what size room it is. I'm going to be painting a room. I'm going to be painting the ceilings one color, painting the walls another color, but then I got an accent wall. An accent wall that's going to be a completely different uh, color, one wall and maybe it's a dark color. So that's a scenario we're going to run into every now and then and we actually we're painting an accent wall today. So this is the scenario. I'm going to be walking in the house and when I walk in the house I may be putting drop cloths down, setting my stuff on the drop cloths before I even walk into the house because I don't want to walk into the house and, and track all my equipment in and set it on their carpet and stuff like that. So we're going to walk in and the accent wall is the thing I want to tackle at very first. And why is that? The accent wall is if it's going to be a darker color, it's going to take longer to dry. But the accent wall itself, and I got a wall right here, two walls. You got one wall here, one wall here. If this is going to be my accent wall, I'm going to have a color overlap onto the other color. You're going to have two adjoining colors, but I have to get one color overlapping so I can get the other color up next to it in a perfectly straight line. And that's the thing I have to tackle as soon as I walk in there, because typically a, uh, an average size room, we're going to be able to do it in one day. If I'm going to take two days to do this room, I'm probably not going to be making very much money. We want to be very fast and efficient and get out in one day and we can do an average size bedroom, the ceiling's one color, wall's another color with an accent wall, and one day with just two guys. But the very first thing I'm going to do, I got some paint right here. This isn't a very dark color, but I'm going to walk into that room. I'm going to get my drop cloths down on the floor because I don't want to spill anything on the drop cloths. I'm not worried about masking the base words or anything. What I'm worried about right off the bat is just getting some paint in a bucket and getting the paint on the two corners of the wall. And I'm going to take that accent color and I'm just going to brush that up my wall up to the very top. I'm not going to worry about the ceiling because I'm going to do just the same thing with the ceiling color. I'm going to take another bucket and I'm going to bring the ceiling color down onto the accent wall because I could take this up and go across my accent wall and do the same thing on the sides and the ceiling, but then when I come to doing my ceiling, I'm going to have to do an upside down ceiling cut and I don't like cutting ceilings in upside down and you're not going to get as straight of a line. So I'm going to get this on there and get that on there right away so that can start drying and typically the paints we use, we can mask on that within about two hours and we're going to be using, we take, we use two tapes. One of them is frog tape. One of them is sure tape. If this is kind of a, this is an orange peel textured wall. If that is a little bit rough in there, I'm going to be using frog tape and then I'm going to caulk over my frog tape. I do have videos that teach you how to use frog tape and caulking and get perfectly straight lines, even on rough surfaces. This is a rough surface right here. This was a previous video. We were just shooting in here, getting perfectly straight lines on this heavy orange peel texture. But I'm going to allow that to dry. That's the very first thing I want to do. I'm going to get that on there and not worry about anything else. I'm going to do that, get my other cut in bucket and then do the ceiling. I'm going to bring the ceiling down, which probably is going to be a white 90% of the times we're doing the ceilings. They're going to be a white. The ceiling is a lot hotter up there, so it's going to dry really fast. So I take those two things down. Now the next thing I want to do is start running masking on all my trim. But while I'm doing this and doing the other cut in, I'm probably working with another guy who would be running that masking already. If I'm working by myself, I'll tackle this. Then I'll get my masking because when I start rolling my walls, I want to have some masking over the top of that trim. So if there's any splattering, on the trim, it's not going to hit the top of the trim. So you're going to get your masking down on the top of the trim like this. And the masking, you know, isn't a, in an average size room, I'm going to run my masking on all my baseboards around my trim and everything else. If you run working with two people or more, while this person's running that masking, it's probably not going to take him very long. You're going to hit this and then I'm going to begin rolling walls after that. And we typically rolling walls or ceilings. And we like to work from top down if I'm rolling everything. It's going to look different if I'm spraying. But if I'm rolling it, I'm going to get somebody rolling the ceilings. 
this is only gonna take me maybe five, 10 minutes at most, and then I'm gonna start rolling my ceilings. I got my drop cloths down on the floor because I don't wanna get anything, any, um, any splatter on the floor. Got my pan going, and I'm gonna roll those ceilings. And I roll the ceilings, if it's gonna be white, I roll it with a corner plus roller. I don't think I got one in here, but we'll show it here on the video. Somewhere around here, you're gonna see a corner plus roller. And the corner press roller has uh, the, the filament and we, it's a microfiber roller. It rolls over the edge. That's gonna go around the edge of the ceiling first. You don't worry about the middle of the ceiling, the field of the ceiling, because you wanna get those edges first because you want those edges to dry quickly so you can be begin doing your cut-ins. If you start filling in the middle of the ceiling and you wait for the edges towards the, towards the middle of the day or something, those edges aren't gonna be dry enough for you to cut in. The edges are what are very important, any type of edges. You got your overlapping edge right here where I need to get this color on so I can mass do this color. I got my edges on my ceilings. So now somebody's tackling the ceilings. If it's me, I'm gonna do this, do my edges, do my edges on my ceiling and then I'll determine what I'm gonna do from there based on colors. And there's a lot of different scenarios with different colors, but we'll just say we're gonna be using you know, some average colors. Probably roll my ceiling, get that ceiling done, and then I'll begin rolling the first coat on my walls. And typically as a professional painter, it's very rare that we can get one coat on the walls. We're gonna be two coating our walls. And what I like to do is, is skim coat the walls. And you can see this color, it's, it's fairly dark right here. That's gonna be two coats. If this color over here is lighter than this color, I'm gonna tackle the darker color first. I'm gonna skim coat this wall now with uh, a light coat, not super heavy, because I know I'm gonna have to go over it the same day, typically, because we're professional painters trying to get in and out of a room in one day. If you're doing it over multiple days, you don't have to worry about it. But we're gonna two coat this wall in one day. Skim coat it, first coat. Second coat will be a heavy coat. The skim coat, you're not going to be, if I got some trim around, you're not going to be taking and running your paint down all the way to touch your trim because you got to do two coats. And so I'm going to take it down to the trim, you know, about an eighth of an inch, a quarter of an inch, stay away from it and stay away from all your trim, your baseboards, your window trim, your door jams, because eventually you're going to come back and mask that and do your cut-ins. So I got my walls rolled, I've got this skim coated, now I'm gonna start on my other walls. I'm gonna skim coat those walls, and then I'm gonna be let those dry, and typically, like I say, an hour and a half to two hours, it'll be dry, ready for the second coat. If I'm by myself, now I'm gonna start working one wall at a time, or two walls at a time. If I'm fast as a professional, if I got two walls, I'm gonna caulk all my edges, which I've got baseboards, I've got some window trim here, got some door trim right there. Take two walls at a time, I'm gonna caulk it, and then I'm gonna do the cut-ins, and then I'm gonna roll the field right over the top of my cut-ins. And I've got some videos explaining you know, how to roll a wall and how to do cut-ins that will explain that in detail. But that, sec that second final coat, once I get that second final coat off on those two walls, if I'm by myself, I'd pull that masking before the caulking and tape dries. Now, if there's two of us working or three of us working, we're not gonna work you know, just individual walls at a time. One person's gonna caulk all the tape, one person's gonna do all the, the um, trim, the cut ends, so they're gonna do the baseboards, window trim, and somebody's gonna follow right behind them rolling the second coat on the walls, and if there's two of you, then the person rolling is gonna be pulling that tape before the tape and the caulking dries. And if I got an accent wall, I'm gonna get this wall rolled, I'm gonna pull the tape, and then I'm gonna start working on this wall too. The ceiling cut-ins, somebody will end up hand cutting the ceilings. We hand cut all of our ceilings. But where we took it down onto the accent wall, that's already dry. We're gonna run our caulking and tape method up this wall and get that done. So we'll just start from the beginning. You walk in, drop your drop cloths down, get your buckets out, tackle your edges. So whatever your edges are, anything overlapping where you're gonna have paint overlapping, tackle those edges, then skim coat your walls with um, a skim coat and do your ceilings. If you're by yourself, do your ceilings first and then your walls. If you've got two people, one person's gonna be doing ceilings, one person do the walls. Get it skim coated. Don't touch your tape, don't touch your edges, stay an eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch away. Then you start just brushing over your tape 
or if you're one of those hand cut in guys that doesn't bleed in tape and you hand cut everything, then you'll do your hand cut ends and then overlap your second coat. It's pretty important not to get too far ahead of yourself and do your cut ends and let your cut ends dry and then do your second coat because then you're going to have an effect what we call haloing. You need those, your cut end to be wet, your wall, the second coat on your wall to be wet so they can melt together. And so if you're coming, doing your edges, somebody does the cut ends, we take and we'll brush the cut ends over the tape and then we'll back roll it with a four inch roller. That way it will give, give the same type of stippling that goes on your wall from the roller. But even though you're about four inches away from your tape, the person rolling the wall is still gonna go all the way down and get as close to the tape as he can because typically the roller is rolling one direction doing the cut ends and the person doing the wall is rolling a completely different direction. This is just another scenario. I'm gonna come up with more scenarios. They're just endless. I can't do them all in one video. It's just way too complicated. So I'm not sure if you got a suggestion, what you would like to see for the next video of what to paint first, just leave it down in the comment section below. Once again, if you got any comments or questions, leave it down below. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel. Subscribing is free, easy to do. All it does is just notify you next time we come out with a new video if you wanna see us again. If you don't, then don't subscribe. It's pretty simple, but um, we love it if you do. We appreciate it if you do. Paint Life community, here to educate, empower, and equip you. We'll see you on our next video, out.